I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to write factored form in standard form of a quadratic function. The question here is express each quadratic equation in standard form. Determine y intercept. Standard form for a quadratic function as you know is f of x equals to ax square plus bx plus c and y intercept is c f of 0 if I write 0 here, I get C, and that is the y-intercept. So in standard form, you can easily read y-intercept, right? So that is the advantage for standard form. So let us expand and find the standard form of these factored form equations. So the first one here is y equals to 2x times x minus 3. You need to multiply it with both the terms inside the bracket right so 2x times x gives you 2x square and with minus 3 minus 6x so that is the equation in standard form right now in this equation let us find the y-intercept so y-intercept as you can see from here is 0 right that is the y-intercept but let us try to calculate so y-intercept means x is equals to 0 and we need to find the value of y. So if I write x as 0, I get y equals to 2 times 0 square minus 6 times 0, that is 0. So we say y intercept is 0, right? Is at origin, at 0, 0, correct? So that is what we get. So origin is our y intercept. Let's do this equation now. So here we have two binomials multiplied by 2. Now the option is you could first multiply one of them by 2 and then, then do the needful or you could expand this either way. Uh, in this simple case let me just first multiply by 2. So I get 2x minus 8 times x plus 1 and now we will apply the distributive property to get the answer. That means 2x times x. So first I am doing multiplying the two terms with 2x right. So 2x times x gives us 2x square, 2x times plus 1 is plus 2x. Now with minus 8, we get minus 8x and minus 8. Now combine the like terms. So we have 2x square, 2x minus 8x is minus 6x minus 8. So that is the standard form, right? Now once we have got the standard form, let's find y-intercept. That is x equals to 0, right? So we'll equate 0 for x, so get y equals to 2 times 0 square minus 6 times 0 minus 8, and that is minus 8. So you see here that the c value, here in this case minus 8, is the y-intercept. In this case it is plus 0, so 0 is your y-intercept, correct? So you can write down the answer here is that the y-intercept is at always the x value is going to be 0, y value is minus 8. So that is how it could be answered. Thank you and all the best.